Recently, Paramount Home Entertainment released Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan, the director's cut, on Blu-ray. Is this release worth picking up? I'll tell you as I review... of Khan, arguably the best of the Star Trek films, this story of revenge and sacrifice made a huge impact on Star Trek fandom upon its release in 1982, and quite frankly probably ensured that there was a Star Trek franchise going forward afterwards. Directed by Star Trek newcomer Nicholas Meyer, The Wrath of Khan introduced a new look to the Star Trek universe after the fairly drab, disappointing look of 1979's Star Trek The Motion Picture. Now, this film has had many releases over the years, uh, and I've probably purchased them all. The director's cut, however, first saw home release in 2002's DVD, The Director's Edition. This new Blu-ray, however, is the first time that this cut of the film can be seen in high definition. The disc contains both editions of the film, both the theatrical and the director's cut. Uh, so if you prefer the theatrical cut, you have the option to watch that as well. The official release date for this Blu-ray was way back on June 7th, so many fans have already gotten their hands on it. There she is. There she is. <sighs> and how gorgeous this film looks now. A new 4K transfer has all the colors popping off the screen. This film looks incredible, and I really can't overstate this. The monster maroon uniforms, my favorite from the history of the franchise, have never looked better. Visually, this remaster is a masterpiece. The director's cut doesn't differ too significantly from the theatrical release, uh, with a few additions of dialogue and alternate takes of scenes that add a little bit to the film. The most significant addition is the fact that this cut makes clear that Peter Preston, the engineer's mate we meet uh, near the beginning of Kirk's inspection tour, is Scotty's nephew, which adds additional emotional weight to Scotty's part in the film. My sister's youngest admiral. Crazy to get to space. Every young man's fancy. Click over here to check out a video by Trekkie Channel that showcases the differences between the theatrical Blu-ray transfer and the new director's cut edition. Uh, the video outlines all of the differences in the various scenes, as well as showing quite vividly why the new 4K transfer is so superior to what we've gotten before this. The special features in this release have mostly been ported over from previous releases, and there is no shortage of the special features that we get here. Uh, there are three separate audio commentary tracks featuring director Nicholas Meyer and Manny Cotto for one of them. Uh, as well as a text commentary by Michael and Denise Akuda. If you've ever seen their text commentaries on any other Star Trek releases, uh, you understand that this is a great addition to this film. New for this release, however, is a 30-minute documentary titled The Genesis Effect, Engineering the Wrath of Khan. This is a great special feature featuring interviews with Nicholas Meyer, as well as many others involved in the making of The Wrath of Khan. Uh, and people affected by the film over the years. It is well worth the watch, and the fact that Nicholas Meyer is involved in creating the new Star Trek series that's coming next year uh, gives an added reason to watch these interviews and really see his philosophy about Star Trek and what I think he's going to be bringing to the Star Trek universe when we get the new show. Finally, I would like to highlight an issue that came up with this release, a small editing error that crops up in this edition of the film. In both the theatrical release and the earlier release of the director's edition, there is a shot of Sulu turning around to face Savick as he questions her order. However, with this release, it is replaced by an earlier shot of Sulu in which he doesn't turn around, creating a rather jarring continuity error. Paramount has since acknowledged that this was a mistake and has thankfully offered exchanges to fans such as myself who have discs that contain this error. They have offered two different ways to get in touch with them. You can call them toll-free at 1-844-898-4365, or you can reach them at wrathofconreturns at tce.com. Simply provide them with your mailing address, and they will send you a self-addressed envelope into which you can put your disc and the case it came in and send it back to them. When they receive that, they will send you a corrected disc in the mail. I myself have emailed them, and while it took them a little while to get back to me, I did eventually, after about a week or so, get an email saying that they had received my information and would soon be sending an envelope. Uh, I will keep you all up to date on the status of this return. 
Watch this space. Paramount has also assured fans that all future releases of the Director's Cut Blu-ray will contain the corrected footage. How can you tell if a case contains the correct disc or the uncorrected one? It's simple. Uh, on the back of the case, the UPC code, if it is white, like mine here, that means that it is incorrect. It does contain the error. However, the corrected version will have a yellow UPC code instead, as you can see in this picture here. I honestly have to give huge props to Paramount for correcting this error so quickly and making these corrected discs available to the fans. So have you been able to pick up a copy of the director's cut of the Wrath of Khan Blu-ray? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did that continuity error make you want to yell? <laughs> Let us know in the comments. Finally, before I go, I have an important announcement. Kurtratz Productions has reached an important milestone. We now have over 100 subscribers. <laughs> I honestly can't tell you how grateful this makes me feel. The fact that even one person would be interested in the videos we make here is frankly amazing to me. So that over a hundred of you have actually hit the subscribe button, it really, really means a lot to us. And we are so thankful for each and every one of you who has subscribed to this channel. We have some exciting plans for the future of this channel, which we hope to be able to share with all of you soon. So keep an eye out for that. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again here soon.